Michelle Knight. This is all about Virgo. Now, Virgo is symbolically the virgin, and they get a bit of a bad press for being kind of perfectionist and sometimes detaching from their sexual energy. And this symbolism is really interesting to me because I did a degree in women's changing sexual and religious role from BC to modern day. And during that degree, I discovered the real meaning of the word virgin. Ancient civilizations called any woman who isn't owned by a man a virgin. And also there were three sorts of virgins. One was the sacred whore, which is something that you really need to embrace on some level. What do you mean the sacred whore? How very dare you? You may be saying this at this stage, but what it means is that sexuality is a way for you to express your spirituality, a way for you to really connect with love and life. And the term virgin means you are owned by no one. It doesn't mean that you can't be a sensual being, but what it means is you're a free spirit. And fundamentally, I would imagine that when Virgos were represented by the virgin, that's what it meant. It didn't mean someone who is untouchable and just a perfectionist. It meant a free woman or man, someone able to walk around and be their own person and not be owned or controlled by other people, but to be strong within their spirit and soul. And it would be great if you could embrace that. You are not someone who is uptight. You get a lot of bad press. If you're in a relationship with a Virgo and you think, hang on a minute, they can be bloody uptight, then you need to stop and look deeper than what's on the surface. A Virgo will withdraw emotionally, sexually, and, and with their love if they feel slighted in some way. Yes, the shadow side of the Virgo is you can be a perfectionist. You actually you have these big struggles within yourself thinking I have to be perfect, I'm not good enough, I'm unworthy, I'm unlovable and then you might do all sorts of tricks and mistakes to kind of find love in a way but you, you will not find love unless you understand that you are the the beauty of you actually is the imperfection you don't have to be perfect to be loved in fact if you were perfect you probably would be unlovable the joy is within your imperfection that's where the magic lies that is your beauty that is your strength that is your power an enlightened Virgo is able to embrace the spirituality of sensuality in life and is able to do a cosmic dance among people, knowing that you are a free spirit. If you are in the shadow side of Virgo, you might get a bit controlling, you might get a bit withdrawing, you might get a bit kind of judgmental and pompous sometimes and kind of, you know, point the finger at other people and go, look at that person, it's an outrage the way they're behaving. You know, if you find yourself going down that road, stop, allow yourself to look within and say, do I love myself unconditionally? And when you do, that's when you come into your power. The best way to relate to a Virgo is to be honest and to be kind and to be thoughtful. They really don't like bad manners. They don't like rudeness. They don't like people who don't think about other people. They like to do things in the right way. And the right way is not necessarily, you know, having, I've met some very messy Virgos, you know, there is a myth that all Virgos are very tidy, but they're tidy within how they treat other people. And they do kind of, they have very good ethics. You know, I, be surprised if you ever hear a Virgo being rude to a waiter or waitress. And if you're taking a Virgo out on a date and you're rude to the waiter or waitress, that's it. They're not going to be interested. They find that uncouth behavior is, is not acceptable. They like people to be nice and people to do the right thing. And, and, and courtship may be slow, but let me tell you, Virgos, you have two sides. You do have that sacred whore, which is a, a beautiful thing. You can let go, you can go crazy, you can go wild sometimes. But if you do it with the purity of your heart, that is a gift. It's, it's wonderful. It's not anything to feel guilty about. If you do ever let go in shadow side, you can suddenly do something out of character, go completely crazy, end up having an affair, do something that, that, that nobody knows about, and, and then you berate yourself. And that's you being in the shadow, Virgo. It's great to be free. It's great to walk in your power. It's great to know that the virgin is not some negative 21st century concept of being frigid and uptight. It actually means that you walk your talk. You're free in this world. You're an independent spirit and you're able to really walk your spiritual journey with your head held high. 
Anyway, I love Virgos. I think they're fantastic. They're complex. They're interesting. But if you make friends with yourself, Virgo, if you love yourself, if you're unconditional with yourself, if you're non-judgmental with yourself, that's when you walk in your light. And that's when you're being true to your spirit. And when you do that, you can also treat other people with that non-judgmental approach. And that is one of your key lessons. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.